So, so Mill's methods. That's important. Um, yeah, I, I, one of my favorites was people in Mill's day used to um, think that life could be spontaneously generated. So, for example, if you had a damp shirt, I don't like the shirt you're wearing. That kind of, I mean, when you see the picture, it's like a, a flannel kind of shirt, right? And it's a damp shirt, so somehow you have to get it damp, right? And then have a food source nearby. And if you do, mice will just show up. Spontaneous. Spontaneous generation. Mill said, let's test this. And he put a box that mice couldn't get into or out of. And he put a damp shirt and a food source in the box. And guess what? No mice showed up. Ha! Huh. So, how many people believe that mice could just, like, where do they come from? They just poof. You know, they show up in the right circumstances. Well, you know, that's 1860. <laughs> people thinking that way. Uh, and, you know, he proved no, you have to have replicability and controls on your experiments. Um, another uh, thing he famously figured out was at the time, remember Britain was industrializing and lots of coal was part of the process of doing that. And the coal being burned would go up into the air and darken the sky. And lots of children, especially poor children, were getting rickets. And they couldn't figure out why. He did experiments to d demonstrate that it was lack of sunshine that was causing the rickets. And one of the re results of that was to start cutting back on all of the, the coal uh, soot in the air, etc. So lots of interesting things with Mill. Fascinating life. Um, as a conservative liberal, though, I know that sounds confusing. One of the things he argues, though, is that no one has a moral right to our generosity or beneficence. If you're wealthy, you ought to share, but no one can claim as their right a part of, of your... Um, so he would be anti-tax, in a sense, unless the tax was really going to be beneficial for you know, the, the poor. Um, and the, secure, the security is one of the most vital of all of our interests. So the principle, therefore, of giving to each what they deserve, that is, good for good, as well as evil for evil, is not only included within the idea of justice, as we have defined it, but is a proper object of that intensity of sentiment. So he's, as a utilitarian, he doesn't feel that individuals have natural rights to things. And some of the utilitarian uses of, uh, uh, well, of utility in experiments have been really horrible. So there are experiments, for example, one of them is called the Philadelphia Experiment. You're familiar with that? That usually comes up in everybody's, uh, you know, but, but the idea where you can uh, harm your test subjects on purpose, you know, to see what it does. Literally, uh, sounds immoral. But it's not immoral as a utilitarian. Because your goal is the greatest good for the greatest number. So we should experiment on this hundred, these hundred people. Give them the disease. Find out what happens and learn from that so that we can take care of millions of people. And it's okay. Because their lives are not worth the lives that we're going to save when we're talking about a million, right? So you see, the principle of utility is in conflict with a principle that we get, say, from Immanuel Kant, who argues that... But for the utilitarian, would the utility utilitarian ever put themselves in the lab to see 
I've seen, I've seen, you know, crazy scientists that give themselves the injection or get into the device and come out and they have a head of a fly. Yeah, but like, you see what I'm saying? Like, we would be never vegetarian because if that person with all the brain smarts dies, then it's not good for the group too. Right. See the argument. Yeah. Yeah. Ask the poly problem next time. Ah, yes. 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 Uh, I wouldn't do either, actually. Maybe it's like we can get rid of I wouldn't flip the switch done, like, and I wouldn't push anybody off the bridge. You know, it's like. Or like, you know, like a bunch of people and are in jail for the rest of their life. Yeah, we'll have them go make. But I don't think it's right to just. Like, You'd be yeah. taking away that person's autonomy, their freedom. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with taking away someone's freedom? The freedom of eating uh, goop in jail for the rest of their life. Well, I think that's people are <laughs> Oh, the trolley problem is where it's really silly. You know, the, the trolley is coming along the track, and there's five people on the track that are going to get run over by this trolley. But you're standing on a bridge next to a fat person. And you realize that if you push that fat person down onto the track, that will block. The trolley from hitting the five people, so you'll be destroying one life to rescue five. <laughs> like, what should you do? You know, you know, and and it's like, what? What a dumb problem, right? Why on earth are they coming up with this? Yeah, an alternative is well, you have a switch. You know, you can push the switch, and instead of hitting five people, it will go off onto this track and hit one person. Aren't you also the person that taught us that there was a person who talked to Aristotle and said, what a stupid question, why would you ask that? That's Socrates. Prom that sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like saying things that way. Was it Diogenes or? No. Diogenes just ran up into a class and Diogenes is your favorite, chicken. right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Can you throw a chicken? Yeah, he, uh, Aristotle was like, a, a human is a featherless biped, and so Diogenes plucked a chicken and, you know, interrupted Aristotle's class and just threw the chicken and was just like, behold, Aristotle's human. Yeah. Well, so my quiz question, remember, is what would a utilitarian do to solve the COVID-19? Okay, I got it, I got it. And you could use Fauci as an example, by the way. I don't think he's... St. Fauci? I mean, Dr. Fauci? Wait, can you repeat it one more time? But they so, didn't do it, so... No. What would a utilitarian do to handle the COVID-19? I don't know that's what I was going to say. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They'll take the patients. They'll take the patients. Right? Take the patients. Would they make everybody take the vaccination, even though the vaccination might hurt? People of a select group of people, yeah. but it will save millions. Of yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Be safe out there, enjoy the weather. By the way, did you enjoy the conference at all? Yeah, it was really interesting. That's cool. That's cool. I was ho hoping for some feedback in some sense. I saw you at the lecture with Lee McBride, and I thought that was. Thanks for coming. Yeah. It was really interesting. I would have gone, but I had work all weekend. That's the way things are. Yeah.